have you ever had a dream that felt like it would never come true? Well, our next guest spent the last 11 years waiting for his book to sell, but it wasn't until his daughter's help that his dream became a reality. Before we chat with Lloyd and Marguerite Richards, let's take a look at their story. My writing started out in uh, high school and college as poetry, short poems. I had a knack for seeing something and putting it to metaphor. I don't think I had the confidence in myself that I could actually be a full-time writer. I needed to work and have a job to support the family and pay the bills. My dad and I have always had like a special connection and relationship. My dad is funny, he's sweet, he's thoughtful. He's fun, um, and he's he's just always supported me. I have three children, and the time to write, I had to definitely uh, do it late at night, and then I would get up way before going to work in the morning, sometimes four in the morning, and sit down on my computer. I just pushed myself and write for two hours. I denied myself a lot of sleep because I really, really wanted to accomplish it. I would sit on the stairs and watch him write, and eventually, at one point, my little brother got a, like a little video game system next to him, and he would quietly play his game while my dad wrote. I started uh, in about 1998, and I finished it around 2011. I was so pleased just finding a publisher that wanted to publish my book. He wasn't like, oh, no one's buying my book. Like, he never said anything. But he continued writing years later, and that was what really was touched me. I was like, Dad, I want to put a video about Stone Maidens on TikTok. He didn't even know what that would mean or why. He's on the run and your daddy's here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I was just hoping, like, real, like realistically, I would have been excited if, like, 50 people bought his book. Oh my gosh, please welcome to the show, Lloyd and Marguerite Richards. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What Marguerite. a story. I know, it's so beautiful, and I love a father-daughter story like this. Marguerite, the TikTok video we just saw now has more than 50, five, zero million views. Tell me, why did you want to record your dad? I kind of like I was saying, I just, I was so moved by how positive he was and how he kept writing and he finished the sequel and nobody was reading his first book. And I thought, you know, maybe I put it out there and a few people could learn about it and enjoy it. And then it exploded. Wow. That's, this story is incredible. It's crazy because when I first saw it on social media, I was like crying and now I'm <laughs> yeah. here like crying. So um, Lloyd, you struggled with book sales for more than a decade, but your daughter's video changed all of that. So it's been one month since she posted it. How many books have you sold? I've sold uh, over 90,000 books. She wow. <laughs> I can't believe it. I wow. really can't. In an, well, in an age where yeah, you don't sell books. We, we believe it because we couldn't actually get the book <laughs> yeah, to have tried. it to hold up. Like, it's so, like, we have to wait to receive the book. So, obviously, it's in very hot demand. What does it mean to have your daughter do this for you? I, I'm just unbelievably grateful. She's such a loving person. She's always been so supportive of me. And... Uh, I'm just amazed that she did this and was able to have this result. I, I, I can't explain it. It's wonderful. Well, I got to tell you, we were watching you guys live while you were watching that video. It was such a beautiful, beautiful moment. But Marguerite, you've seen the love for your dad and his book. What's it like to see him get this kind of attention with all the hard work he put in? It is a, it is a dream I didn't even know I had. Mm -hmm. it, to be able to speak for someone who's taken care of me my whole life, and showed me how to be loving. To be able to return this is like no words. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's Let me ask you this, Marguerite. What are some of your favorite, because I'm sure people are writing in comments about this. What are some of your favorite comments from the fans so far? There's so many. First of all, we found the nicest people on TikTok. Uh, and I love when they say, like, thank you for sharing your dad with me. And he's our dad. He's our TikTok dad. I love that. because He's such a wonderful dad and a loving man. And it, it just makes me so happy to hear that.
The well, other people see this in my dad. Well, well done, you two. You yeah. guys are such a beautiful example of a father-daughter relationship. I'm sure that so many people yearn for. Uh, Lloyd, now that you have this platform, how do you plan to use it going forward? Do you have any blueprint? Um, well, one thing I like to do is help other Vermont authors or other authors in general who don't have the recognition they deserve. Um, I have three names of people that are very fine writers, and uh, I feel very fortunate what my daughter was able to do for me. The little that I might be able to do for them would be wonderful. And are there any other books in the works? I know you put in a lot of years on this one, but do you have a follow-up yeah. maybe now? Any pressure on that? Yes, I do have a follow-up, and it's with my agent. I finished it last summer. Woo! And there you go. Get, get that, get that popping out on TikTok. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Are you a full-time writer now? Yes, I am. Uh, I retired from my job uh, to to do this, and uh, I was at an age when I could retire. I'm 74 now. Congratulations! Unbelievable! Wow. I know what. Uh, what an inspiration you both are. DBL Nation, you can find Stone Maidens on Amazon and make sure to follow their TikTok at Stone Maidens and their Instagram at Stone Maidens, uh, Stone dot Maidens. Lloyd and Marguerite, thank you both for joining us. We'll be right thank back. You so much. Thank, thank you so Thank you guys. Congratulations, seriously. Thank you. Thank you.